Hey everyone, welcome to my new channel. My name is Niyandra Patel. Today we are going to add new feature like how to quick update item price in ERPNX using the list view client script. First, we will learn to add the button in list view row. So first we check the cool doc type example like the to do doc type. Here you can see the button how it's work. First, we get the to do code. So we go to the frappe github and copy that code. Now we go into the client script doc type and we have to create the client script for the item list view and paste the code and enable the script. We have to update the name and if you want to hide the ID then use it. We added the item field in the list view likely provide the additional context about the each item. Here we define the button uh, in unique way icon with text. We added a icon syntax code so copy and paste here. Also paste in label. Here we update the description. It's likely indicate what action will be performed and where when the button is clicked based on the item being the display edit the doc dot item code let's edit the console log for what happened when button is clicked it's take the doc represent the item as an argument action clicker one copy let's check in the it uh, item list view open the console log check the button here you can see the output is coming now back to the script now we have to use the frappe.db.get list i already added a syntax frappe.db.get list so copy it and paste it into the script now up update the doc type name like item price here we have to add the field name that we want to add so added the field name like name item name price list and price list rate set the filter for the mapping now we have to check the output so edit the console log let's check the item list view action item price copy the price let's check the item list view and open the console log now click the button then item according item price is coming properly let's check the other item it's coming properly 500 okay let's check the other item for the cross checking so yes item price is coming now we have to use the dialog here mm. Here we have to we have documentation of dialog API so please check the example but there is a no child table example so let's create one and paste the code now we have to update the dialog box title with uh, item code add the child table name like item price table as a field name 
price table and set the type like table now we have to add the field in the child table so copy the other dialog fields and set it in the in the child table now add the field name that we have used in the frappe.db.get list so here add the name field name and field type now also set the hidden now we have to update the item name item name field name type data we have to set read only and in list view now same thing applied for the item price and item uh, price list rate update the label price list field name price list type link we have to add the option like price list again copy the code and paste at the rate price list rate price list type currency remove the option and also we have to remove the read only if you want to change the dialog size then you can set it here we set the large we can also update the primary action button let's add a console log for the testing copy the action uh, update price but um, okay but we have to add the data price this assigned to fetch the price to table populate it with the retrieve the data so let's go to the item list view reload the page and check the output here you can see the item price data appear in the direct table click on the update so again output is coming with the price table now we have to remove the delete add and edit option so we have to add the cannot add row in the dialog box also add the cannot delete row and in place edit one let's again check here you can see the delete add edit option will be removed from the table you can just edit the price this list now um, we have to get the value from the child table so here we have to add the 
let data first set the data into the data and check it t dot get value and check the child table name that's defined in a bow now now again add the console log for the testing data reload the page check it in the console updated price data output is coming but it's not a updated data output is coming but it's not a updated data so we have to add the for loop for the data data for each function price now we have to update the item price so we have to use the frappe dot client dot set value here i already added the syntax of set value so copy it and paste it into the script now update the doc type like item price set the field name and value set the value here update the frappe message item doc dot item code price updated successfully let's check the final output of the updated item reload the item page and check it here we update the t-shirt price so price price updated successfully you can see in the item price it's a bold tax issue so we have to update the message again check with another item let's update the smartphone price price updated successfully check it in the item price doc type you can see the price is updated successfully now we have to add the another button in the dialog box for the create a new item so we already made the syntax like sec secondary action button so copy it and paste it into the script update the button now we have to use the frappe dot 
new doc frappe dot new doc for the item price and set the route option like item dot item code on and item code save it and again reload and check it oh button is not working so we have to check the console oh doc is missing so we have to add it doc dot item code let's again check now working properly but we have to hide the first dialog when click click on the add button so d dot hide load first dialog box is hidden which item price have to add so i think we have to remove the one price from the item let's take a camera item remove the item price and again add it from the developer future so it's created proper or not Oh, it's created successfully. You can see. Now, beautify the code. So, copy the whole code and paste it in beautify.js. Beautify code, copy the clipboard, and again paste it in this client script. Now, code is working properly. No, work properly. Hope you like this video. So, if you want to get the code, then please comment out. Please, we will update you soon. Thank you.